Another play that you're gonna keep your eyes out on is Destiny Littleton. She won the title with the Gamecocks last season and automatically out the gate and and one for Rhea Marshall. Everybody wants her over the back, but she did not touch her. Just a tremendous rebound. And up. We're about two minutes into this ball game. They have four players that are averaging double figures coming into this ball game. Nice look on the other side. Drew Gilton bringing the ball up the floor for the Jackrabbits. Beautiful dish pass, but not against Rhea Marshall. Idea. Maya Selling trying to work her way on the inside. Beautiful look over the left shoulder. So they're not going to fold early here in this game. Started off the game 0 and 4 for the Jackrabbits. Now they're 1 and 7. And the response from Caleb Williams from distance. Prior was 58.8. See how they'll close the season. Littleton bounces around and gets that one to fall for her first bucket. There you go, see? <laughs> that, that's my thing. Everybody should have the same color shoes on. I'm old school. That was 20 As years you ago. see Destiny Littleton, nice little old school three-point shot there. You mentioned it just how the Trojans so far have been able to really clean the glass. They already have four offens offensive boards, haven't been able to convert. And one. For Paige Meyer, checks in and Trojans led 12 to 2 to start this game. Now the Jackrabbits on a 9 0 run, and you can count that bucket too. And those were much needed points. Those were their first points in the last six minutes. But if they can't stop the Jackrabbits on this end, it's going to be a long night. Nelson stripped from behind by Walker. Williams, rather, sorry. And the nice look for Marshall trailing. The Chattanooga Mocks and Virginia Tech Hokies. It doesn't get much better than that bucket by Sullen. Every time a player touches the ball, you can see Destiny Littleton, she is not getting an easy shot. They're able to convert. And the Jackrabbits average about 80. <laughs> there you go, Helen. Two more for you. Maya Sellen. Top of the bucket, Maya Sellen has entered the chat and gives South Dakota State a three-point lead at the half. In our brackets for this year, you're alongside Helen Williams. Always a pleasure working next to you, friend. Timmer to the bucket. Timmer for another two. Cal Bacon, Alicia Murray, and Zach Brost. The officials for tonight. The scoop shot no good underneath, and the rebound. That goes to Peyton Burkhard. The offense for USC is just anemic. Just where do you go? Sissoko, Finally, there it is. A turning away from it, but not able to convert. And she's getting frustrated. Meyer does an incredible job turning the corner off that top screen. You mentioned just off the top, just the contrast that we've seen in the style of play as Sissoko, beautiful textbook pump fake and gets the deuce. And they took advantage of the mismatch there with Sissoko. Oh, board for the Jackrabbits. Paige Meyer. She needs to copyright that. Lindsay Gottlieb talked about how she had to reset this program after last year, only winning five Pac-12 games. She said, we were sitting at home last year. We're able to play in it this year. Selen pretty much left alone. She's going to go all the way on the inside. And gets the end one against Rhea Marshall. Trojans have 22 seconds to work with. It's a great defense there. You cannot make long, floaty passes against USC. Must see TV. 
<laughs> Another block. That's her sixth of the ball game. Dumbia trying to see if she can connect as well. Another block call. How about that one? And what's been interesting, too, is that she's been able to mix it up. We saw her in the first half with more of the back to the basket. Now she's getting the ball in that mid-range area, and that's why. And at this point in the season, you don't make a whole lot of changes to who you are. Connects Taylor Bigby. Haven't had a field goal in the last six minutes. That'll do it. Tori Nelson. Maya Sellen trying to work against Sissoko. Took a little contact at the top of the key and no foul was called. Sellen gets the ball, gets the bucket, and Marshall probably took some contact underneath as well. She's holding her jaw. Four to work with for the Trojans. Look on the inside, Sissoko was left all alone. Selling gets the ball, takes a power dribble and drives that one in. Air screen for Selling and ball got away from Meyer. Selling off the glass and just out. Trojans, do they look for the three now? They launch it just short. They get the old board, they still have time to work with. Littleton gets the ball to go. And great extra pass for Dumbia because she could have taken that shot. So nice. We have to see it twice because that launching the arc, everything. Selling with the ball. Two seconds left. That's tipped. That's out of bounds. And that's going to be the ball game. Not just in scoring, but on the defensive end as well. That one almost tipped away. Sellin gets the ball back, is able to get the end one. How about that? Littleton still patting the rock at the top of the key. Marshall gets the ball, and that's pretty easy. I see this is a mismatch on the perimeter. When she needs to get to the inside, they switch, and it Still can't guard her. <laughs> the back. Four on the shot clock for the Jackrabbits. Timmer. Of tying her career high. Destiny. Yeah, USC look for some staggered screens for, for Littleton there. Littleton launches it again. Can't connect on this one. The lowest free throw shooting percentage for this team is at 73 oh, percent but you can see how that one Adika sends it to Littleton Littleton can't come down with the three or the foul and so this one is going to go to the Jackrabbits who get fouled Nelson Nelson drains it it's a big free throw makes it a two possession ball game 19 for 24 from the free throw line. That's where games are won. And she drains both. Sh shooting 80% from the free throw line. Littleton, they'll let her get all the way to the rim. 1.9 left. And there is a timeout. Patty Sissoko, one of them. With Coach Lindsay Godley, she's got a great core there, got a great recruiting class coming in, got them back to the NCAA tournament. And that'll do it. 22 game winning streaks for the Jackrabbits.